A 10 year old boy in Aurora uses an electric wheelchair and last year he got a new one, making it difficult to get around his house. Well, that's until an organization stepped in to help. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer reports. Ten-year-old Ethan you, you can go ahead and open the door. loves showing off the Legos and cars in his room. Yes. Does he need help from Chewbacca? No. But getting to his room hasn't always been easy. You know, I'll never forget seven years ago sitting in Children's Hospital and um, and being told that you know your life's going to look different. Ethan has Duchenne muscular dystrophy, a disease which is slowly weakening his muscles. It's a progressively degenerative disease. But it really has been a beautiful journey of walking something something different. That something different has meant big changes to the family's 40 year old home. Changes that needed to be expedited after Ethan got his new wheelchair last year. Having an, access, an accessible sink and an accessible shower were really things that this home that was built in the 1980s didn't provide for us. Beginning, we widened this door to make sure that we had all of the appropriate clearances. And Haley then Selden is the owner of Redwood Jane, a residential so construction no company. We took this closet down and moved the wall out a foot to give more space into that bathroom. She's the general contractor working to make Ethan's home easier to navigate, adding things like a roll under sink in the expanded bathroom. This faucet is actually both touch and motion censored. So if you're washing your hands, you have an option there that requires very little motion, very little movement um, for access. So. The foundation of the Home Builders Association of Metro Denver has been helping families like Ethan's for 30 years. And I am also the current chair of the Professional Women in Building Council with the Home Builders Association of Metro Denver. In fact, 90% of the contractors who worked on Ethan's home were women, despite the fact women make up just 12% of the home building labor force in general. It's nice to highlight the fact that we brought in so many women, but at the end of the day, it is still a project. And for me, this is just my job. This is what I do. Do you want to tell them anything about the new flooring and what you like about you it? You can go faster on it. Thanks to Haley, Ethan is getting around the house a little quicker these days. And while his family knows there will always be challenges to overcome, they're thankful for the team that came together to help them with this one. There's a lot of value that comes from depending upon others. So it's really neat to see how that has happened on this journey. I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.